Hello, welcome back to the Opulent Life viewers. Today we have a pen for you guys to unbox and review. This is the Wordsworth and Black by Literary Artistry. It's a part of the Vintage Classic Collection with the medium nib. And uh, I bought this from Amazon. It's part of their Erudite Collection actually. Uh, it's not mentioned here, but it's actually part of that uh, particular series. This one is in gunmetal gold trim. They have many different other colors as well. And we're gonna review this one right now. Okay, so it comes in this white plastic box, has some writing on it before we go further into it. Tells us you that if you're not 100% satisfied with your Wordsworth and Black Fountain Pen, we are not happy either. We will do everything in our power to ensure your full satisfaction. No questions asked. This is our promise to you. So this is a promise. And it's designed in the US and made in China, PRC. You have the barcode, you have the same writing on that side. And then on the back, it is pretty much identical. And inside we have this faux leather box here. Very nice to feel, but obviously it's not genuine leather, so don't mind that. I bought this for $29.90, and there is a 10% coupon available at Amazon Prime if you want to purchase it these days. And over here you can see that the Wordsworth symbol has been embossed in the center and on the side as well. Let's open it up. You open it up, you have some cream velvet lining inside with the Wordsworth logo again. You have this booklet that contains, I believe, some information on the writing instrument, which is this fountain pen. And I think this is just telling you more about the selection nib, different types of nibs that you can use. This one is a medium nib, so we'll compare that in writing. You can also get a fine nib or a broad nib from them. And then this is a cartridge based fountain pen. And you can also use their piston mechanism ink refill in case you do not have cartridges available. It tells you how to clean the fountain pen. And then there's also some other information in here. regarding their Instagram links, Facebook links, and different colors available, mysterious black, royal blue, and some other colors for the cartridges. I believe this one does come with blue and black at least. And then they're telling you about the registration and warranty, what's covered, what's not covered. That's it for the booklet. On the back side, there's nothing. So this next one, the holder for the booklet contains the guarantee card, I believe. Well, this is not a guarantee card. It's just tell, it's a message from the CEO. Very nice. Nothing else in here. So let's put this, put this back. And then it does come with these six pieces of cartridges. So we have our cartridges here laid out. Here is the mechanism that you can use to fill ink in case you don't have those cartridges available. You can fill it up here according to the instructions and you can load it into the pen. We'll show you in a second. Okay. This is the pen itself. Comes nicely wrapped in this plastic here individually. It may be difficult to discern in this lighting, but it is actually gunmetal gray. And it feels really nice metallic finish. There is some design, some emblems on here as well. You have nice gold accents on the gunmetal gray and feels really nice, smooth, polished. It has a good, decent clip as well. Although I believe the clip could be a little bit 
tighter, it's a little loose. You have the nice Wordsworth logo on the top. This is a screw mechanism. You can see, you can put the cap the back, you can post it. There you go. This is the medium nib, has some ink on it, sorry. nice threading this is where the cartridge would fit as I shall demonstrate in a second so you could either attach it like this or you could choose one of these and go with that let's choose the blue one right now It's very premium for holding it. You can see this is a medium nib. Now we're going to test the writing. So as you can see, there is no issue with ink flow. Very smooth. Ink flow is a bit heavy, so be careful. I do write in an odd fashion. My writing is not the best, but I'm sure people will get really good results when writing with this instrument. It is very nice. Just doing it in different angles for you to view. So you can see no issues with ink flow at all. Even though I put in a blue cartridge, it is actually very, very dark blue. So you can see that it's actually looking black instead of blue. But yeah, it's a little tough to hold it with these gloves, I'll admit, but I'm doing it for you guys. It is rather heavy, so if you're looking for a lightweight pen, this is not going to be your choice. So that was a quick review of the Wordsworth fountain pen. I really like it. I think it's very nice. Uh, the only con that I could see is that the nib is a bit loose and the ink flow can be a little bit high for some people who prefer uh, finer writing and uh, that is the only thing that I can think of as a con. But if you are an expert with fountain pens, which I am not, then I'm sure you will get excellent results with this time, uh, with this writing instrument. And I do recommend it, but only if you really like to use fountain pens, do not buy this uh, as a casual item because if you do not, if you're not used to fountain pens, then you may not like it. Also, once you put in a cartridge, you have to use it within a few days, otherwise, the ink tends to dry out and then the whole cartridge tends to become useless. So uh, if you put in a cartridge, make sure you're gonna be writing quite a bit with it so that the ink does not get wasted. Uh, you can alternatively use the cartridge loader uh, with the piston system. However, even in this case, if you use different uh, inks, you still have to be mindful that you have to use it within a week of uh, putting it in. Otherwise it will dry out and then cleaning the nib is another hassle that you have to deal with. If you do not like the idea of fountain pens, I recommend checking out roller balls instead. They provide a similar ink profile uh, in writing and uh, they are much more easier to manage. Or, uh, and, and if you do not like ballpoints, they are a good alternative. They are a mix between fountain pens and ball, ballpoints. 
uh, the rollerballs. So, but this is for the connoisseurs who really love their riding and uh, want simply the finest riding instruments. So in that case, the fountain pen is basically your automatic watch. Like quartz is to rollerballs, fountain pens are to automatic watches. And you can consider maybe auto quartz as like a rollerball. <laughs> So that's it for today's review. Stay tuned, take care. Please do like, share, and subscribe.